Hack the Box is an online platform allowing you to test your penetration testing skills. Hack the Box is essentially divided into two parts machines and challenges the connection to the machines is made by means of a VPN to create it. You must go to access and download the file user.ov. Open a terminal in Linux and write where you downloaded it. Open VPN is an open source connection protocol used to facilitate a secure tunnel between two points in a network. It allows you to connect to a remote network over a secure, encrypted connection and mask your IP addresses over all ports. IPv4 and IPv6 are used to identify machines connected to a network. In principle, they are the same, but they are different in how they work. IPv4 is a 32-bit IP address. IPv6 is 128-bit IP address. Here you can see all the machines. You can also see the difficulty of each machine. I recommend you, start with the ones with the very green difficulty graph. Once you get the user and root flag, they are always a hash. You must enter them in the operations section and they will add up the points. Each computer has one or more user accounts that are not admin. When you get access to the user of the computer, it counts as owning that user. Root is when you get access to the root account of the computer, the account that has permissions to do anything it wants. Full control over the system. To own a user you need to submit a user flag, which is located on the desktop of the user. Root flag is basically a user flag for root or administrator account. There are also various challenges for you to solve. You need to get the flag and submit in the given format. There are five phases of hacking. The first phase is where the hacker tries to collect information about the target. In this case we are given a IP address to start. The second phase is scanning. This phase includes usage of tools like port scanners, network mappers, sweepers, and vulnerability scanners to scan data. Here we are using network mapper as shown. Here PN mean no ping or no heavy scanning. 
SV is for version detection. Now we can see two open ports, one of which is HTTP. We have finished enumerating and scanning the network, the third phase is gaining access. Now that we have a HTTP service, we can use DERB. DERB is a web content scanner. DERB will make an HTTP request and see the HTTP response code of each request. It works by launching a dictionary-based attack against a web server and analyzing the responses. So we found the music directory using derp. While trying to log in, we found a new version to download. Let's check it out. If properly exploited, it can give remote code execution, then user and root flags. And the final phase is clearing tracks so that no one can reach us. Here you can see your progress, points, system owns, user owns. When box retires, points will be deducted. There is a rank and name given new, script kiddy, omniscient. There is also apply for jobs and HTB University. You can form teams also. If you like our video give respect to Cybsec team on HTB. Every week one active box is retired and new box comes. So Cybsec NITW will publish that retired box right up subscribe to our channel to keep updated.